From Amateur Radio Newsline Report number 2202, these are the Ham Nation headlines for Wednesday, January 15th, 2020. We begin this week with the latest earthquake to strike Puerto Rico. As Newsline went to production, the American Red Cross had deployed disaster workers to the areas hardest hit by the 6.4 magnitude quake that struck Puerto Rico early Tuesday, January 7th. Power was slowly being restored island-wide after a blackout was undertaken for safety reasons. Government-run shelters were housing hundreds of victims and received support from the Red Cross. The Red Cross was also seeking amateur radio operators to step up and volunteer. Angel Santana, WP3GW, the ARRL's public information officer in Puerto Rico, said the Puerto Rico Emergency Management Agency's EOC had been activated. Newsline will continue to follow this developing story. For Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Christian Kudnick, K0STH. Hams have also been active since floods struck the Indonesian capital on New Year's Day. In Indonesia, amateur radio operators in the flood-besieged area of Greater Jakarta have been providing support in a variety of ways to afflicted residents, including some of their own members of Arari, the Indonesian organization of amateur radio operators. According to accounts from Dani, YB2TJV Disaster Communications Coordinator for IAIU Region 3 and Asan YC0OST, Arari South Jakarta, was among the regional centres to receive a radiogram from the central Arari office seeking disaster management communication support. Hams were asked to assist in the evacuation of local residents to emergency shelters. The flooding had begun on the first of the year with power outages and mudslides in the capital region hampering the search for missing persons. In addition to emergency communications detail, Hams also assisted with fundraising on the third and the fourth of the month to help victims, some of whom were their own fellow Hams. Hams helped distribute the cash contributions along with household necessities. Officials were calling the floods the area's worst since 2007. For Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Robert Broomhead, VK3DN. If you love ham radio, there's nothing like social media to help you share the journey. Karen Eve Murray, KD2GUT, spoke with one YL who's devoted a YouTube channel to her adventures. Hello, my radio friends. With those four words, a YL named Raisa, call sign UB1AOA, cheerfully begins yet another conversation with the world. Raisa is from St. Petersburg, Russia, but calls QRZ most often as OH73ELK from a ham radio cottage on a Finnish island. Off the air, Raisa continues her dialogue with the world on a YouTube channel she created shortly after getting her radio license in December of 2018. She calls her videos My Way to Ham Radio. In more than a dozen short episodes, she celebrates her new license, hikes to a soda summit, tries out radio orienteering, and cheers out loud after making QSO number 1000 as part of the OH73ELK contest team. Raisa tells Newsline in an email, quote, I want to inspire new people and then meet them on the air. For Amateur Radio Newsline, this is Karen Eve Murray, KD2GUT. And that's all from the Amateur Radio Newsline, your independent source for amateur radio news for four decades and counting at arnewsline.org. With Christian Kudnick, K0STH, Robert Broomhead, VK3DN, Karen Eve Murray, KD2GUT at the news desk in New York, and our news team across the globe. I'm Don Wellbanks, AE5DW73. We'll see you next time here on Ham Nation.